Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are back with the second innings, and uh, remains to be seen how uh, ADCL Blacks will chase. They have come up with their firepower for sure. Start the proceeding. Pradeep Amin will face. Punch towards uh, cover, missed, and uh, a single taken is off the mark. Uh, slight square legish uh, and single taken again. towards a short third man, a dot ball. So the equation is very simple, 164 required in 117 balls. Correct, absolutely no doubt. And they need a wicket for both these batsmen. That is a wide delivery it is. Let, 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 let me quickly take you basically towards the striker better profile here. For Deep Amin, 165, 50, 6600, average of 54, striker 190, 26,000 plus runs. Punched, misfielded, and that's now how you will win games, especially the captain missing out. striker on the other hand is uh, JD Mahesh he has 66 50s 1100 11,000 plus runs and a strike rate of 154.27 who else will need uh, from the guys black perspective to take on purple both are playing very comfortable Pradeep Amin was the best batsman of the 100. And a very well played uh, towards uh, square leg. That was a loose delivery and uh, that, uh, to be honest, is uh, what it really deserved. 11 for no loss in first over. Pradeep Amin, 9 in 5 deliveries. Islam. 
just to share one thing with you, I had a uh, very detailed discussion with one of the professional coaches who was coaching Pakistan at the moment also, uh, about placement of a fielder uh, at one day. Okay. I had a very detailed discussion because I was uh, talking about the fielder. You know, when you have five fielders outside, the only fielder you can't play, how should one be talking about? Correct. So I would have the opinion that uh, I would never take a bit of a longer win. I will keep the longer back and I will probably compromise maybe third man or maybe square leg if I'm doing it for the Oscar. But he had his reasons, professional reasons for He also showed that there is a probability which has been made. Very well played towards point. The fielder is uh, attentive there to dot balls. I think he's not bowling fuller in that case. And if you're not the field, you're not Correct. It's fuller, but uh, the line is uh, nowhere near is uh, what is required and a boundary for JD Mahesh. Absolutely great. Dot ball again. That I would say that was the better of the fuller deliveries. Still slightly wide, wide but still better. At least the line he got right. Easily taken. Better delivery, I would say. Intended for uh, the result he received. But I think because he uh, changed the pace of the ball, that's why the batsman was uh, not in control, perhaps. But still waiting to see the ball. Then we will continue. Seventeen early days for both teams, I would say. Oh, that's a bad delivery. Extra cover. Again, a long walk. I always believe you are getting the angle basically, you are angling it in. Better take a mid-wicket rather than long off in that case. So far he is. Oh, oh. that's an excellent delivery. It oh. swung, but, 
but the line was better this time. Shy at the stumps very and nice uh, the umpire. Very nice feeling, very nice. He's unfazed there, that's uh, a good feeling. Two marks to Salek Shah there. Salek or him? Salek. Rafi Bhai, fielder, who was it? Sakil Bhai. Adds off to the commitment there. This over compared to Tamir's first over is much better so far. And pick up a wicket for Reds. Oh, yeah. I think Ang Lane Nick. I think no chance of a wicket till uh, Ran by here will <laughs> start having his uh, feeling. But uh, run by whatever the result of this match, I think Reds have to go back to the drawing board again. Excellent delivery, dot ball. That's a magnificent over. It's uh, 20 in three overs. Deep is on 11. JD Mahesh is on 7. Uh, this is the second match of ADCL Reds. There is a huge gap after this because uh, we are not having uh, any matches in the last 10 days, which is called the last Ashra. Uh, because, you know, it's, uh, uh, I mean, Ramadan itself is the most uh, holiest of the month. But for the viewers uh, who don't know, the last 10 days are the holiest of the holiest because we have the special night called Lailatul Qadr, which, will, which comes here. And then we have a long weekend, a long, sorry, Eid holidays coming up this time as well. That gives me personally some victory because uh, inshallah by that time I'm going to some work through with that we have. So we'll be looking forward to the fact of the time and to the Excellent delivery, see, dot board, a single, see, sorry. Uh, see, the founder, this is what actually what I'm trying to do. Had the founder been to us, this wouldn't have been a single. And since it couldn't have been a single, what would have made the batsman go for something other than a right, Let's talk uh, after this delivery of different scenarios of the match results. Single again. So let's say if uh, Reds win this match, scenario one, in that case Reds uh, will surely be in the top two of the pool. Mm -hmm which means they will be promoted to the Trophy Division. However, if uh, the result is uh, the other end, that is uh, played magnificently over extra cover. One bounce and uh, rolling over. Oh, it's a six. Magnificent. Very well read and very well played. Elegant to play, but very less of power. Beautiful shot. And your match is against ADCL Blues. They are ruthless as far as their performance is concerned. It's on 20th of April. They are ruthless and uh, if you lose this match and you lose the next one, you probably relegate it to the Shield Division. Not good. Uh, point a single taken this time easily. Well, it's not that uh, doesn't sound, sound, sound good actually, but still, you know, our, our uh, ECL revolves around the social 
part of the cricket, although it's very, very competitive. But the core again lies in the social aspect of the cricket. So while we, want, we would like to compete uh, professionally, but we'll be happy to play that cricket again. Oh, that's misfield. Whether you're professional or not, that is something which is uh, not expected, especially when you're defending a total. 30 runs partnership. They have uh, run off to 33 from 3.5 deliveries. Absolutely correct. We haven't seen any master blaster kind of a hit. Elegantly played towards uh, Spelek, and this is, I think, where ADCL read uh, lack today. A couple of hits, and then again, they Wicked. are not uh, wicket. So it's 34 from four overs. Not a single risky shot we have seen so far. And uh, the singles are very tough to me. This week, I won single by the book, you know, singles have been very complicated. And that the credit doesn't go to Fetchman alone. From here, I can see the kind of feeling he has. He is a very, very single player. So, that perhaps may be hard to believe it is a different person. So, the final tally for ADCL Reds for the dot balls is 47. Almost mm -hmm. 8 over. Correct. Played uh, towards uh, deep extra cover and single taken. No, sir. Oh, yes, correct. Absolutely right. We're in the fifth over. No, and, <laughs> and the run bomb, you can say they have uh, they are way above as of now. Oh, he's gone. It's clean bold. Yeah, Excellent it's stuff. Excellent. He's, he's clean bold. There's a, some sort of confusion in the middle, and the bowler is clarifying the keeper as well that it's clean bold. Actually, this was overjoyed. Uh, the team just felt like something has happened. They didn't show that. And that's uh, perhaps the wicket ADCL Reds uh, were hoping for. Coming uh, to the uh, social part, uh, uh, I have, by the way, already we have, as you know, nine teams. I'm already... Uh, batsman Adnan. Adnan Mirza, a very good batsman, walks in. 2450s, 200s and an average of 26.82. Strike rate of 138 and more than 5,000 runs. He's on 5,498. So let's see if he can surpass that 5,500 mark. So nine teams in ADCLs are already confirmed. The ninth team, ADCL Stars, will not be participating in clashes because they are under preparation for the next season. The tenth team, I will not uh, disclose the name, is already in discussion with me. They have agreed on the framework, and today I have initiated uh, the framework discussion with the eleventh team as well. So our target. Our target is to have 15 teams and three divisions of Trophy, uh, Shield, and Crest. Where would you like to see its fifth part coming? Goals and lines coming from coming years ago. Have you ever had any such fifth part vision? It's not going to. Oh, I am I'm actually, if, if God can, Allah can give me uh, the time, meanwhile a single taken again and uh, the energy and of course the uh, monetary sustainment, I want to take it uh, to a global lads level in fact, I don't mind taking it that way. Cricket Lads is basically a community or a family of amateur cricketers who work uh, all week and enjoy their cricket on the weekend. 
And if you if you see the constitution which uh, today when for our viewers the we, we already had an ADCL constitution but we have now elaborated it further, made it more elaborated, more precise for UCL. If you read basically initial, it's very clearly mentioned that uh, UCL is revolving around silver and bronze categories with an additional layer of gold and platinum players. It's 39 in five overs for the loss of one wicket which ADCL Reds uh, would be really happy. Hopefully, and uh, uh, for our viewers, basically, we keep on reviewing our tournament rules and regulations. We had a very successful rotation based uh, uh, initially when I introduced one of very close friend of mine in uh, ADCL at that time said, it won't work, nobody will care about it. And I said, look, one team will care about it, the rest will have to care. And, uh, very well played towards uh, deep extra cover. There's protection, there is single. So if you read the rules now, again, I have today I have messaged the captains in the captains group and I reminded them that uh, I, the rule now says, previously it said that if you have players in your team and if the count goes to 20, you get two points in the points table, 25, 3 and 34. So now basically since we have a super sub, I do not want that rule to, rule to be abused. I'll, I'll come to that after this delivery. Single taken. So the rule now, the, its a line has been headed. Trick heroes, if the if the player doesn't ball, doesn't bat, and doesn't do anything in fielding, may it be missed field. Mm -hmm. It doesn't put your name in the MVP. Your points are nil. You are you don't exist in the MVP list. Mm -hmm. So now it's up there. I'll actually continue. And oh, not that comfortably played. A single taken. So now basically I've added the clause that if you want your player to be counted for the bonus point, his name must appear in the MVP list, meaning by hook or by crook, he must participate he must practically. That makes a lot of sense. Correct. So the, the crux of ADCL's uh, ever expansion and uh, further trust amongst the players and the lads who are playing is the our system which and that is magnificently played one bounce. Fielder unable to intercept, and that is a four. It's uh, and, uh, turning out to be slightly an expensive over so far. Seven runs from four deliveries, one more boundary, and it will be an over. Which uh, correct? Ownership in the players that they are actually active. That's the point. Uh, the stakeholders are the players. That's a bad delivery and uh, very well fielded there by Sajid Aziz, I must say. Present an easy one. Had it been one meter left to right, it would have been. Uh, oh, uh, Pradeep, I mean. will always try for a boundary. He is magnificent. That's why he has so many hundreds and so many things. 25,000 plus run is magnificent. Oh, that's a better delivery. Not much in control. That's the end of the over. It's 48 in 6 overs. The required run rate is still 8.43. Salik, continue. Salik will continue. I believe, uh, I'm sure you know, Napoleon used to say, I don't just want generals, I want lucky generals. So, may, maybe Salik is that lucky general today. He has picked up a wicket. Correct, and a man with a golden arm, can he pick up another one?
one thing I really like about him is sticking to that line and length basically. Would you still have the mid wicket? Question. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, a surprise delivery like that perhaps can. The required run rate 8.56 is completely gettable, to be honest. Uh, and the correct. Because they have only lost one wicket in 14, they are on 49, and uh, so it's not the reason the wickets uh, would be given by the lads or heads of the people. The way Pradeep, I, if you see the approach of playing that uh, line and length towards the good line and length of, uh, which Adnan just played, he missed, he tried to cut basically. Mm -hmm. But if you see Pradeep basically, this, this is, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Adnan, both players are good players, but the difference of style and class is there. Pradeep is rated way, way higher. So Pradeep basically punched the ball, if you look very carefully, and made sure that he plays a non-risky. Uh, the, the problem with cut is it looks very, it's a very beautifully executed shot when it is executed. But it is still a risky shot. There is, there is a reason point is always in police, always in defense. Blacks would give reds to wicket or reds have to reds have to uh, reds have to create chances. So uh, how we can uh, dot balls and uh, uh, sir with the fielding of course. No? I'm just thinking. Uh, I think there is no one talking in the field as well as Adnan. Oh, that is magnificently yeah, nudged, and finally Adnan Mirza succeeds in getting a boundary on that line in length. It's a 50 up, it's 56. Fifty-six in seven overs. Deep Amin is on twenty-nine. Sajid Aziz has 157 wickets in his pocket. <coughs> let's see if he, 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 he is experienced, he's played more than 221 matches. So let's see if he can entice the batsman here. Oh, will it be a single? I think it should be a single. Correct. Hmm. You have to have a brave heart to bowl that line in length where. And smother if it's possible. Slightly better. No. I would. Had he taken that, they would have sandwiched that player on the mid wicket basically towards slightly yeah. towards the cow corner. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. On the other hand, if you had noticed Eddie Seal Black's uh, field placement. Ah, it was better. All my life, the best thing probably I have performed in the field. Not best, the most. I've been captain. And I've been very critical when I've been watching him. That played and uh, should be two. The, mm -hmm. the fielder has come casually. Two runs. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I always believe that sometimes if the fielder, sometimes, maybe one out of ten times, if the fielder comes quickly, the batsman might, one of the batsmen might change his mind. You can see the example of the Oh, flatly played, and that's a six. Quiet run rate now comes down to 7.97. The partnership is 34 from 21. Adnan Mirza 22 from 12, and uh, Pradeep uh, 12 from 9. So Adnan Mirza is now the heavy contributor in this uh, partnership. Although the six is after a couple of wickets, if you see here, uh, the run warm did come down, but it has started going up again. Eight over seventy. Now ninety six required in seventy two deliveries. The required run rate is eight. The current run rate is eight point seven five. So they are uh, ahead of the curve. Reds uh, were at the top of the pool, and uh, uh, let's see what happens if ADCL Reds will basically. The, the, another key here is that uh, uh, the net run rate needs to be protected as well. They won uh, uh, with the thumping margin, but the question here is uh, if they can, uh, if in case again, I'm saying ifs and buts, we have to have uh, multi level thinking in a tournament like this. We need to also think about the overall holistic picture you don't need to be thinking about doom and gloom all the time the net run rate is also quite precious for you you want to be at the top two in such type of tournaments the factor like net run rate plays very mysterious i've seen it many a time oh excellent delivery imran is a very uh, experienced campaigner Wide delivery. The length I I'm really liking the length. The line fine. It's yes. uh, it's it's the second yes. delivery. You can't uh, just uh, start criticizing the bowler no. on the second delivery. That's the excellent line. Excellent length again. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, no no harm, no foul. Let's see Pradeep's approach. Because both batsmen have different style of play. Punched, one bounce, to the fielder. I think I uh, what I sense is Pradeep likes to use his uh, yeah. feet much and confidently, that, in fact. Yeah. But, you know, this, uh, tricky. Mm, tricky. And unfortunate, unfortunate as well. Actually, inshallah, and that will be a very hot uh, match. So let's see. Uh, 
that uh, that balls will not give any advantage to us because uh, the kind of the batting blacks are doing uh, the one way and uh, the whole batting line is still yet to come. The fans, uh, the fans, the only way is to get points. If they're getting wickets, they need to do something next week. Agreed. 74 in nine overs. 92 runs in 66 deliveries required. to be seen. There is quite a lot of power in it and four runs. It was very good time, I would say. So if they get re relegated, so they'll be, uh, let's say, uh, mm -hmm. going, going, coming back to the scenario. Coming back to, uh, back to the scenario. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so they will play the shield then in that case, and the next season they will start from the shield. shield. Mm -hmm. Promoted, okay. yes. So they need to be in the top two in the next season. By the way, it will become a bit difficult in the next with season because with more teams there. coming in. But since you'll be playing the last match and it will be a tough cookie, so let's see how it goes. Oh, finally. He's gone, clean bold. This is what wicket to wicket is. Adnan Mirza is clean bold by Shaquille Rana. The bowling wicket to wicket will give you a lot of rumors. Upul, right? Okay. Empire, again, please, can you confirm? Apologies, the name of the player. I'm not player again. Batsman, batsman name is Upul. Upul. Uh, Upul, Upul, batsman. Thank you. Upul, 47 50s in 700. More than 8,000 runs, an average of 33 and a strike rate of 154. And as I was mentioning uh, before, that ADCL Blacks have a magnificent uh, batting lineup. And a good field placement there as well, having a sh short extra cover there. If, can, if they can sneak in one more wicket. Hint of chaos will be there at least in Black's batting lineup. Very wise bowling and very good channel by the way. Maybe little pitching up would also further help. They have mid wicket there available and uh, they have uh, a corner there as well. It's very nice bowling by the, by the bowler. Excellent over by Shaquille. 
five runs off it. You couldn't ask for a better over, and it's a wicket with a wicket as well, clean bold. 81 in 10 overs. Sides will change now. We have three tricky overs of power play. So I think it will be a test for the captain. Uh, Bharat Shonak, who's a very close friend and ADCL Blues captain, uh, keeps on telling me, he says, look, uh, sometimes I feel you put rules to tease the captain <laughs> a lot. Well, actually, to be very honest at this time, given the, the um, captain of power play sort of a situation, is actually teasing him and fullest. And I'm you know, challenging him and his skills and his uh, instincts. So even I would say it's, it's the same for the batsman as well because the ball is not as shiny as before. It's not that hard. Either. So, I mean, the batsman will have, might have that, I mean, it's a test for him as well. Actually, will he yes. go for it? I will actually come to it. At this point in time, that's what I'm saying smoothly. And then you have this sort of a brief coming in now. You know, very wide open field. You, can, you feel like going out, out out of the park and maybe a loose ball. That's actually your challenge. That would you like to stay and complete to finish the match, or you would get sucked in this opportunity of scoring runs. So you are, you are very very right. It's a test for the batsman as well, especially once you are going smooth. Had they been chasing something big, so they would have been very open and very, very happy. Now actually they have a choice. So the choice makes them countable more. Absolutely correct. Uh, 85 in 60 balls. I still feel that uh, if Blacks would bat out all 20 overs, Reds cannot win. So they need uh, to get them all out. And vice versa, Blacks need to make sure they play till the last delivery as much as possible. <laughs> Their current run is 8.10. Required is 8.5. So they are not lagging. Starts off with uh, a wide. It is a wide. So the ball looks a bit rhythm and we can continue to rhythm the channel and we can change some particular position. And then we can slip probably and we can place the ball in the middle. Yeah, it's good. Oh, played in a miss. Excellent delivery. Very well played. Okay, if you if you want to have a slip, which which position will you vacate then? Oh, played and miss again. Excellent delivery. Correct, because he is swinging away. I think. Uh, Somebody got a warning. We, uh, when we signed the contract with L N uh, Cricket uh, Club here, they've been very generous. We have a huge contract with them, big one. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the uh, basically allowance from them was that our bowlers can use these steel stunts. Did not miss again? Magnificent delivery. I feel Upul might try something adventurous to mm -hmm. all the benefits of it. See, I feel there might be a skyer coming up. Punched and uh, he's uh, at the non striker end. I'm sure he'll uh, have take a sigh of relief there. Three tournaments. This is the third one and the final one, which will finish off the season on 1st of June. Have uh, different favors and different style of plays, challenging the teams, giving opportunities from different perspective. A lot of people really like Super 8 T20 a lot. They feel that they get more opportunity there. A lot of people don't like it there. And an appeal for out and is gone. Pradeep Amin, he's gone. The big wicket, the big fish. Takes it now. I 
I see a very, very good window of opportunity. Not only because the wicket has fallen, I see the kind of uh, bowlers, uh, especially the last three overs I've seen. So I think the, the good thing is Shaquille still has three overs left, so that's yeah. the good thing. Uh, I, I see something coming. I see some sort of a balance in the remaining half But again, 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 it's pressure. Smothering of singles and very askew field placement for the benches. I would be probably happy to uh, get an out down to the Best man, Seji Hydro. Umpire, what was the batsman's name? Can you please tell me? Umpire, batsman's name will be given. Very, very good and successful overcoming completed and I would say this over has got uh, the red somehow. Shaji Hydru also has 63 50s and 200s. Uh, Murul now comes in. Two overs 20 is more expensive. So, but uh, I think both these batsmen are new so it might be a good idea to get uh, this over going. Tell you what, I would have, uh, if it was me, I may have uh, given uh, Shaquille uh, an over here. I would actually let's uh, have to take Fair enough. Um, on the other hand, Upul is uh, slightly struggling against uh, Pacers as of now. So, yeah, that might have been, I mean, as you know, as they say that uh, history is written by the victors actually. So, if, if, if he takes wicket here, the, uh, the captain uh, will be... Remembered for an amazing strategy he implemented, right? He'll be just taking for the time that he's here as the African club of four. Unless the lion learns to win, unless the lion learns to win, every story is glorified. Correct, absolutely <laughs> right. 82. Now the required run rate is 9.28, 82 and mm. 53. This, I think, partnership will be quite critical for both teams. Punch towards uh, long off, and that is gone for four. Went like a bullet as well. Umpire, इधर जाने दे इनको इन्होंने white पहना हुआ है तो बहुत अच्छी था। सुनो, आगे करना slip नहीं ले रही है। Umpire one second. Better delivery, change of pace there, single. That's a poor delivery and uh, five whites there.
I think pitching down to be the key here. I agree, but uh, at the end of the day, the line has to be of course. legal as well. <laughs> Better delivery. That's an excellent delivery. He still has two deliveries to go. He can redeem himself by picking up a wicket or at least making sure that these are dot balls. Yeah, but I mean, I hope for that, uh, uh, for baller's sake, that uh, he doesn't ball a white ball because then he makes life easy for the batsman. Oh, that's a big, huge hit towards uh, mid wicket by the batsman. Six. Islam uh, continuing his uh, expensive spell. It's a uh, 2.5 over and 37 runs conceded with one ball still to go. That's the better delivery. Oh, misfield there by then we need it was. That's the end of the over. 101 for 300 up for ADCL Blacks. They need 65 in 48 deliveries. I think the last over has hampered the defense of uh, ADCL Reds. You know, I feel, I feel that if, uh, let's say, again, I'll, if, if Tanvir uh, balls a good over, good for ADCL Reds. If he balls uh, a negative over and a positive one for Blacks, it will become much, much difficult for it, the, the next incoming bowler, even if it is Shaquille, to push back the momentum because the required run rate is 8.13. Once it touches that 7 mark, I always feel teams usually sail. Made and a miss, excellent delivery. 3.1 over 16 for 1. 12 dot balls out of the 16 deliveries he has bowled. He has been magnificent. Oh, that's a bad delivery. So no ball, it's a no ball. The umpire has rightly given a no ball. Why not? Let's see if, uh, I mean, he can always have a dot ball as well. I mean, this is, this is unfortunately every bowler's nightmare when the previous over gets expensive. And you have bowled uh, an over before, a brilliant one, you feel more pressurized. Excellent delivery, a dot ball as I said. So I, 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 he's an intelligent bowler. I've seen him. I really like him, Tanvir. But the point is that when you have your league or your partner not bowling well in the previous over, you feel obliged to do something extraordinary, and it's human nature. You need to compensate for that. Oh. One bouncer and uh, very lucky. Well, from the run rate perspective, he's considered three runs, including that no ball single in four deliveries. So he's done well. To make sure he's not conceding boundaries. Oh, excellent delivery, excellent delivery. He has had a Opal pinned down almost one. From, from the word go, he has had a Opal pinned down actually. He is playing him like a puppet, if I may. And 
that's a very well cut and uh, running away for four. That's a very good uh, execution by the batsman. That's four. You know what? Uh, what cost uh, this run up? You know, I've been uh, uh, repeatedly seeing uh, here at uh, this point in time, uh, this frame of the game, pitching up and in the channel. So, uh, getting cut means two things. One, you were a little short of him, and secondly, you were away from this guy. So, uh, with this kind of pace and more wider third man, and at this juncture of the game, when you are just going for two kicks, the ball in hand of this cal caliber actually needs to be very well put. Oh, clean bold! Magnificent stuff by Tanvir. Beautiful Yorker and magnificent uh, wicket. A champion uh, comeback, an excellent spell. Four overs, 23 runs, and two wickets by Tanvir. That was a peach of a delivery. Exactly what the doctor ordered, or as we say, Imran Baizmi, what the commander Imran ordered. <laughs> 8.2. By the way, a couple of people in between have uh, uh, complained to me that you keep on giving advices and two people take that advice, <laughs> don't give the advice or give it to us as well. Please, uh, I, I apologize for that and please let me, do, let me speak my heart out. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, the required run rate is still uh, very low, it's 8.29. Yeah, it's cricket and a couple of wickets in the kind of bowling rules. And you know, Islam, why I was constantly telling you this, channel and pitching up. One and two, I've been saying another thing. Empire, can I have the batsman name, please? Azhar, new batsman. Azhar is the new batsman and Shaquille Rana will now come. The power play is finished. Azhar, 1150s, 200s. These uh, stats are extremely impressive. But at the end of the day, what it matters for Black is that one of these lads need to take them across the line. Now, this could creep in one feeling. Do I need to hit? Do I need to place? Do I need to stop? I think the field placement for us is very good here. No, I would not appreciate it. Why? I see a very comfortable signal coming in short now. If I am not spinner with whole uh, with uh, from off to left. So I see wide single coming in. My whole mid wicket is open for us. Luna is rolling. But you know this is very good line. I might, I might take a chance and take the short uh, uh, fine leg and bring it here to short my wicket at least. Keep I the will pressure. do other one. So that is uh, well hit. Fielder is there. Well fielded. First delivery he bowled was not fuller actually. That is what I'm saying. This point that's what I was saying. That was actually inviting for a good shot. But when the two field is in a circle, you are asking for them to shot. Number two. As a magnificent batsman, he uh, oh he is excellent in extra covers. And uh, as I said, uh, a huge six sailing over extra cover. Now, when you, when actually, when you do commentary for a person for a long time, then you start knowing each and every person's weakness. How yeah, well you do it, but if you actually see the moment, you know, the exact moment that you, before he was hit, he set cover, and the next second was flying over the place. That's because he counter-attacked uh, uh, Abdurrahman Nasir, who's a brilliant bowler, and 
what he did basically he started hitting him making space and hitting him over extra cover and then Abdurrahman Nasser got under pressure and that was the game which was won by Edisel Blacks so that was an extra ordinary counter attack by Azhar initially he could not make uh, sense of how to counter attack the first over by Abdurrahman Nasser was on the spot the second over he tried this strategy and then Abdurrahman Nasser got stumped there in the sense so that was a good competition which he won at the end that is flat 6 I think now from this point unless there is a flurry of wickets by Shakil well I know I must appreciate the intention of the confidence of the black sportsmen they are as a black sportsmen because they are very clear they are not bogged down they are not thinking much that they are not in any dilemma so very clear let's see how many dots blacks have got with sense 28 Uh, thanks to courtesy of Tanvir's pass. Uh, I think it will be uh, on a safe uh, area and we have. ट्वेंटी taking six wickets for for bonanza uh, correct i mean it will be spectacular to see if that happens but who did it correct bad delivery dispatch for a huge six over a square leg my goodness that was very poor delivery unfortunately Edisel Blacks, by the way, feel comfortable chasing because they have. If you, if you see the stats, at least, if anything else, they have a very long batting line. No? Flatter delivery and uh, played towards uh, the wicket. There is fielder there. A single taken. Uh, oh, it's a no ball. Oh. And a free hit. Uh, that's uh, adding salt uh, to the injury. sense a boundary here oh. no i don't dot ball oh. excellent i think if if you ask me i think the probability of the match uh, winning is uh, towards uh, the cl blacks their current run rate is that's another 6 and i think uh, correct <laughs> 30 runs partnership in 10 deliveries If you see the current run rate is above 9.5, so imagine if they had been batting first, they would have been targeted at 200 basically. Easily. That is slash towards cover. Uh, there is uh, fielder there. 27 runs required i don't see the match going beyond the 17th over or it i in, in my view i mean again i don't want to sound arrogant or rude or anything no offense to reds a lot of <laughs> close friends are there 
But from a statistical analysis, I feel that correct. We'll see the graph after this delivery. I'm very interested to see the run bomb. Oh, that is another biggie. And uh, very quickly, if we see the warm chart, basically, so you can see that uh, except for the points where they lost back to back two wickets, they never came below the required run rate. So hats off to them, basically. Better delivery, flatter towards uh, offside, uh, single taken. That's the end of the over. And, uh, Shiji Haidru 22 from 12, Hazar 21 from 6. If you see the type of runs here, basically, you will see that EDCL uh, blacks, basically, the number of fours they have hit, basically, are way more than 10 and 6. And then they have, so far, they have eight sixes. Malik Malik Shaiver, I think the consistency they have shown in making sure that uh, they don't uh, bog down is magnificent. and the concept of keeping command of the match is very important. We wanted to ensure that they are in charge. That's a wide delivery. That is a sliced, one bounce and uh, a four. He reminds me of how Anupam was playing. Yes, but yes, some same body language, same confidence, but uh, being lefty, he has more agility. Correct, absolutely correct. And usually lefty are more prone towards mid wicket, but he has shown his class towards all the, all the, correct all indeed. That's a, perhaps the first, first shot. Yes, yes miss that I've seen. But I mean, luck favors the brave, chance favors the prepared mind. So I mean, 14 runs in 27. I would term it uh, uh, as a comfortable victory to be very well. Very comfortable. Well built. Well built. That uh, will <laughs> sail and gain. As I said, luck is favoring the brave. Thirteen and twenty-six. So far, Salik and the last two deliveries have been better. Will it go to four? Sanveer fighting till the end. Magnificent stuff by him. Very good feeling. He's a fighter. If you uh, remember, he hit a uh, big six yes, also yes. When, when he was batting. Very humble person as well. That's a bad delivery, unfortunately. One bounce uh, over the rope, that's four. It's a magnificent partnership, 50 from 19 deliveries. And I think uh, the writing is on the wall, and as I think my prediction, unfortunately, that uh, they will not see these 
end of 17th, 18th over, it will end in the 17th. I think it's uh, exactly what uh, it's going to be under pressure. Another so eight runs for me. Correct, eight runs. Aja, Imran, bhai, if you have to, uh, if you have to list them, what are the main checklist which let Reds down today? No question. First thing, the dog ball. That I think should be a serious concern. Others run out of the club, I don't think it's very unlikely or a bit difficult. And I'm still thinking that uh, what could have they done more to defend or make the structure a bit difficult. Uh, I, I can sense some little uh, change in the fielding during, during the initial part of the game. Some different building changes probably. Because you know, the, the thing which concerns me, it's concerning me at the moment is that the runs were always available. That is sailing and maybe coming towards us. I hope it doesn't hit my camera. It does not. It's a six. Tied out the other has been called in probably for the winning shot. Nine fifties. One mile score kept the back here. One played, and that is the end of the match. Uh, ADCL Blacks have won by five wickets. And that too in the 17th over. Correct. And the man of the match is Azhar. As per the MVP calculated, 33 in 11 deliveries, four sixes, one fours, and a strike rate of 300. No, he did not actually because uh, I, I want to go one, want to see one more thing now basically. Uh, let's see the quick uh, point table over here. Now, ADCL Reds stand at uh, second, okay. definitely. Uh, good thing is they didn't go in negative, but... Uh, uh, correct. So, ADCL Blacks are won by five wickets. And uh, now, the man of the match cash price of 200 dirham will be provided uh, to Azhar. And uh, very quickly going to the MVP, Shaquil Rana is the inspiration player which in next okay. season we are anticipating the budget to have at least 100 dirham cash prize for the, for the inspiration player as well. That's, that's really, really inspirational. So, uh, <laughs> let's see you tomorrow, a match between DCL, Dubai Cricket Lads uh, uh, making their debut against ADCL Greens, the champions of the 100 league. Thank you very much from Usman Rathur. Thank you. Thank you.